Dudes, what's up? Today, evidently, according to a delightful calendar I found on Google, is Sadie Hawkins Day. So if you guys are in any kind of uh, social academia type scenario where you have tons of access to girls and guys in the same place together at the same time, girls, here's your chance to ask that hot, hot guy in your class out. And dudes, here's your chance to go, why hasn't she asked me yet? That's right, guys. It's role reversal day. Well, since it's Sadie Hawkins, we're going to make a he man -tastic recipe. That's right. We're going to make stew. And just to make sure that man card stays intact, we're going to add some venison. That's right. We're eating deer. We're eating deer. Now, guys, if you're like me, when you get something that involves assembling components together, you look at a picture and go, I know how to make that. Well, let's not do that while we cook, right? So we're going to consult the good book, the good book of cook, my recipe book I've been using. What we're going to do is we're going to get two pounds of meat, in this case, venison, fellas. Oh, yeah. We're also going to take uh, two tablespoons of canola canola oil, uh, but uh, vegetable type oil evidently is okay. Um, go ahead and also get eight medium carrots, easy to get, just get one of those regular not pre-cut bags of carrots, you should be good. Six large potatoes, go ahead and peel those bad boys and cut them into one inch squares, little cubes, and then we're also going to need a can of tomato sauce and an envelope of onion soup mix. That's right, it's what it says, folks. I'm just reading it. Um, so, fortunately for me, I had a wonderful assistant in my kitchen earlier today, AKA the mommy, props for the mom, folks, uh, who went ahead and pre-cooked our venison for us and put them into appropriate little cubes for the stew, went ahead and peeled our potatoes, and our carrots and all that good stuff for us as well. So we're practically ready to just pour all this bad stuff into the crock pot and make something tasty, okay? Before we go ahead and put all the ingredients in, it does say to take your can of tomato sauce, uh, about a cup or so of water. Official directions will be down below. Please, please, please read the directions below before attempting this because we want your food to taste good as opposed to not, which nobody wants in their mouth. Uh, take the water and your onion soup and you're going to combine them together. Now, if you did this right, you should have like a ton of vegetables. Mmm. I love carrots. I'm just saying. Anybody want to send me carrots? Uh, hey mom! Might need a bigger crock pot. Okay guys, so after a brief break real quick to assess our crock pot situation, my professional cook, aka the mom, has informed me that it should be fine we can get the crock pot lid on top of it and of course like all good crock pot dishes it does kind of cook down and compress a little bit as you know getting soft and stuff and a little bit more malleable try that word out malleable um so we're going to go ahead and continue with the current crock pot all right all right okay now that you have all your ingredients in the crock pot cram the lid on top all right folks now that you've put a lid on it you're gonna set that bad boy on low for four and a half to five hours in there. I love you guys. Watch a movie, create a documentary, write the great American novel, whatever you can do in four and a half to five hours. Go on a really great date, something. I will see you in what will be seconds to you, as always, and hours and hours for me. Love you guys, see you soon. What does a homie G say when asked what part of Europe they want to see? Venice, son. That's right, venison, which is what we made. We made venison stew. See what I did there? A riddle that led, you're with me, you got it. All right, guys, now as you can see, I've completely changed clothes and I don't have my makeup on anymore because it is a completely new day, which evidently is how I do these. I start one day making it and then I finish it the next. Um, what we have is some of the delicious venison stew stuff right here. We got our venison meat. Mmm. So good. In conclusion, 
um, recipes should be below in all of my cooking with pot episodes. If you like this cooking with pot episode, please thumbs up it, comment, subscribe, and of course share because sharing is caring and it can be fun. Um, I will see you guys next week when we make whatever the heck I decide by then. I love you guys. I'll see you later. And I'm out. And I'm out.